Welcome back to my Zebra English journey. You may be wondering what's the difference between a trial class and a regular class. Do I need to be certified to teach trial classes? Do I need extra material that I need to go over before I teach the trial class? Hmm. I have good news for you. There's not any difference between a trial class and a regular class material. It's the same material. There's no special trial class material. We have three levels within Zebra English. We have level one, two, and three. There are 32 to 48 lessons within each level. Now, Zebra English, remember, it's not primarily a one-on-one -on -one teaching platform. Zebra English is an app-based curriculum that the students are a part of. There's 450,000 plus students that are a part of this app-based curriculum that's an AI app, artificial intelligence, where it's able to gauge their English while they're working on the app. They have missions to complete each day. And one of those missions, if they choose to sign up for the one-on-one -on -one platform, because that is a supplementary option for them when they sign up for Zebra English, um, is the one-on-one -on -one class. So if they sign up for a one-on-one -on -one class, wherever they are in their AI material, their curriculum, their app curriculum, then that's where they do their trial lesson. So say that they are in level two, week eight, then their trial lesson will be my level two, week eight lesson. They will sign up for that as a trial lesson and I will teach that lesson just like I teach it to a regular student. The only difference is that they will be a trial student trying out the platform to see if they want this one-on-one -on -one supplementary program added to their overall experience with Zebra English. Now, there's a little bit of a difference when you teach a trial class because as you know, you want that student to enjoy that lesson and that parent to really see the benefit of taking this one-on-one -on -one course. So you want to do your best. You want to impress that parent, that student, you want to have fun with them, you want to build great rapport with them, and just deliver the best lesson that you can. You want it to flow, you want it to pace well so that you don't end too soon or skip any slides or um, take too much time and not finish the slides. And they want to see the value of this lesson. They want to see, is this worth me adding on and paying a little bit extra for? So you want to show them you want to make it the most fun for them. Pull out all the stops. Build rapport. Have fun. Get to know that student. Gauge their level. Know whether you need to scaffold up with the questions or you need to scaffold them down and ask more simple questions that they can answer. You want them to be outputting because that's what student parents are looking for. They're looking for that student output and they are happy if they see their student outputting at least 50% or more. So that is something I really focus on when I do trial lessons. I want to get that student to speak as much as I can. And I'm going to gauge that lesson and tailor that lesson to that student. And if they are advanced, I'm going to ask them more in-depth questions and extend more. And if they are not as advanced, then, or are just learning English and just having, um, they're, they're having success just with saying words, just single words instead of sentences or just certain simple phrases, then I'm gonna key in on that and I'm gonna make them successful with that through that lesson. Okay, so you want to make it fun by adding props in or a secondary reward. You're wanting to win that student. Um, they're already a student with Zebra English. So Zebra English is not losing one way or the other um, whether they sign up with us as teachers. But we will win if um, we can win that student over and show them the benefit and how this just enriches their whole um, experience.
experience with um, Zebra English and their English and improving their English and having that one-on-one -on -one practice with a native English speaker and that they're getting so much output and extension and that they, the parents, are seeing the value of it and the student is having fun. So that's the difference between a trial lesson and a regular lesson. Now, does that mean I skimp on my regular student? No way. In fact, you can have more fun with a regular student because you know them and they know you and you don't have to go through all the introductory um, lingo or conversation that you're having with that trial student and you really know where they are and you know what you can add to that lesson to make it even more enriching and fun for them. And I love my regular students. I have great relationships with them. We send videos to each other and um, I write them little notes and feedback. I know their birthdays. We celebrate my birthday and it's a lot of fun. And that's what keeps them coming back. And I have student output. I use a lot of TPR, which is what Zebra English wants. And it really helps these students to retain the English that they're learning. But I aim for 50% or greater, really more than that student output. I want these students speaking and that's what I aim for. And you know what? They have something that I didn't know until recently that measures student output. And my mentor uh, employer, the one that's over me as a mentor teacher, told me that when she just pulled a few of my lessons that I had one of the highest student outputs um, with Zebra English. I was like, that was amazing. What I'm working for, it's working. And I'm getting that out of my students. And that makes the parents happy. I hope these tips help you and help you to know the difference between a trial lesson and a regular lesson and how to make the most of that, how to make the most of both of them. Okay, happy teaching Zebra English teachers and if you are applicants and need any help with the process, I enjoy helping people, I want to see people succeed and I enjoy helping them through the process. All of my information and links are below. If you have any questions or want to see videos on anything else, please comment because um, I'll be glad to do that for you. And also, my husband made a website for me to answer a lot of these questions that I get asked over and over. It's called myzebraenglishjourney.com. So check that out. You'll see employee testimonies, teacher testimonies, tips, facts, videos, um, and if you want to see anything else there, again, just let me know. Um, I'm here to help you and to be an encouragement to each one of you. All right, until next time, goodbye.